Welcome to Pick Your Poison. Today we're talking about the poison that tastes better going down than it does coming back up, alcohol. Alcohol in moderation is shown to help your heart, reduce your risk of a stroke, gallstones, and possibly even diabetes. But here on Pick Your Poison, we don't do moderation. To us, it's like cat food, totally for pussies. Alcohol affects different people in different ways, depending on your sex, size, age, sleep habits, and diet, but the effects of too much alcohol are pretty universal. It makes guys think they can dance, girls think they're whispering when they're not, and brings my karaoke game up to a whole new level. Seriously, you guys, drunk me is like Mariah Carey from the movie Glitter. And by that, I mean a total disgrace. Alcohol messes with your neurotransmitters, making you act and talk like a drunken a-hole. It also dilates your blood vessels, affects your breathing, slows down your heart, irritates your stomach lining, and may shut down the nerves that control your gag reflex. That all sounds really bad, but what are you going to do, not play in your morning beer pong league? A forfeit is a loss, people. Let's talk lethal dose. There's no standard limit for everyone, but experts put the estimated lethal blood alcohol level at between 0.4 and 0.5%, which sadly is a mark that a lot of people hit all the time. There are over 50,000 reports of alcohol poisoning per year, and an average of one person a week dies. And those numbers only include the US. I can't even begin to say what's happening in Russia or on deep ocean booze cruises, but I imagine it's a lot of confusion, hypothermia, pale skin, low blood pressure, unresponsiveness, unusual breathing, and vomiting. Deaths result from dehydration, heart attacks, or the always popular choking on your own vomit. RIP that guy from ACDC, and hopefully eventually Justin Bieber, and any minute now, this list of people. Get it together, Hollywood. So, you died from alcohol poisoning. The bad news is, you're an idiot teenager who drank hand sanitizer. The good news is, YOLO, I guess. Just kidding, there's not a lot of good news here. In an alarming trend, kids, prisoners, and other morons who don't have easy access to alcohol have been drinking hand sanitizer. Why? Because it'll get you pretty messed up. It's between 62 and 65% alcohol, making it 120 proof. And one bottle is equal to about five shots of hard liquor. Why should you not drink hand sanitizer? Because it will kill you. Regular hooch is made with ethanol. Hand sanitizer is made with methanol. Methanol is not consumable by humans. It causes blindness, vomiting, convulsions, and death. So don't drink hand sanitizer, you dumb high school kids. You want to get messed up? Study hard and get to a four-year college. Booze is literally everywhere. If drinking household items like a dum-dum doesn't sound like the way you want to leave this world, try fly agaric. It involves drinking reindeer pee. And saying that out loud, I realize that's not much better. So click here to try your luck on a random way to die and click here for something cute to get your mind off all this death. Please write in the comments below what poison you'd like to die from next and share this video with everyone you know. And please drink responsibly.